Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Um, right now I'm going to go through a couple things to help maybe a couple people out that's trying to use this NDI screen capture here and the OBS. Um, what I was trying to do is originally I was trying to download um, NDI screen capture and I was trying to capture this gaming screen and send it over to my streaming computer so that I could just put all the work on my streaming computer just so I could use this gaming computer and not have to do anything else with this other than play games and like use Discord or whatever. Um, I'm going to have a couple downloads down in the description for everybody. But first things first, we need to go up here to um, NDI screen capture. Um, I'll have it linked in the description you have Windows or Mac, um, download the Windows one. So after you download those NDI tools, you'll have this little thing here, which is just a little um, page thing that you can open up. Um, they have you type in your name and all this stuff just so you get registered into the system, but then you use screen capture here. You just click this little cogwheel and then it'll pull up two different things. Um, this one is for both Intel and um, AMD, but this one's just for Intel. So I'm using this one currently, so you click that. And then down here, down in the hidden area, there's a screen capture, you just right click it. You can change your frame rate. Um, I recommend keeping it on 60, and then capture settings, you can change your region of interest but i don't mess with that audio source system audio and then my microphone that i'm using is plugged into my gaming computer so right now i have it plugged in my gaming computer so i can talk to people in game and stuff like that because it's a, actually a good mic so i would like to talk to people in game with that so i just use this but the webcam audio source is going to be your microphone if you have it hooked up to your gaming computer. Um, and then I'm going to show you exactly what you have to do over on the streaming computer. All you have to do with this is just restart this real quick. And then go over to your streaming computer. Okay, now we're over here on my streaming computer. Um, first thing you want to do on your streaming computer is make sure you download OBS. Um, I have the 64 version. Make sure you download the 64 version. Then once you're done with the OBS 64 download, make sure you click on the next link I have down in the description. And it's going to bring you to this page here. Come down here, click release page. It'll bring you to this page. And then you just come down here. Um, I have Windows, so I do Windows 64 installer. Download that. Um, and then download the source code. Make sure you finish downloading the NDI 64. And then you come down here after you're done with the zip code or the zip folder. Go to downloads, OBS NDI. It's going to show as a zip. Right click it, extract all. And then make sure you extract it to wherever your OBS is downloaded. It's OBS Studio right here. Click that, select folder, and then extract it. And what you want to do is make sure you restart your computer. And then you can go ahead and add in your first scenes if you don't have scenes already. Um, I'm just going to show you me adding the NDI scenes. <clears throat> just come down here, click Add Source, NDI Source. This first scene is going to be your background, like your gaming screen. I'm just going to click on this one because this is my graphics card and my gaming computer. Make sure bandwidth is highest, source timing, frame sync, allow hardware acceleration, and then you can just look at these things. I just left that all default. Then this is going to bring in your game and your audio from your gaming computer. 
And since I have a microphone sending the audio over to my streaming computer, I'm going to come down here, click NDI source again, create new. It's going to be source two. Make sure this source is the same thing as the first one, but audio only. Um, and then change the bandwidth to audio only, or else that screen's going to be back there. This blue screen here, you can see it's trying to make a little overlay thing. Change it to audio only. If that's not showing up, then you don't have the right drivers um, downloaded. Make sure you click frame sync and hardware acceleration or else your audio is not going to match up with anything. Um, if it still doesn't match up after all of that, if you're making a new scene and everything, you have to come down here, audio properties, and change the offset and mess around with that. I'm gonna go ahead and mute. I'm gonna go ahead and mute that because it's probably making sound again. But um, yeah, that's all you have to really do. If you have any problems or anything, make sure you let me know. I'm sure I probably messed something up. I've took this video like 48 times. Um, but yeah, hopefully everybody's a good day or night wherever you're at. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that sub button. I stream every day or try to at least every day on stream or on Twitch. And I'm trying to stream on YouTube and um, kick as well. So if you guys are interested in that, I have all those links down below. All the links that I had before are going to be linked down in the description. All these ones here. Um, big thank you to these people that did the OBS NDI updates and everything and figure out the audio source because that shit was messed up before. Um, and I just figured it out today. It took me like four days to figure out all these audio settings. So I know how it feels if anybody has any issues. So make sure you come. Stop by my stream, make sure you hit that like button, and hit that um, subscribe button. And sorry I said um 400,000 times, but this is my last take. I don't give one shit. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.